angry guy here, and a man adopts a woman's kids. She drains his pockets and then divorces him. I, I, I know you can hear the laughter in my voice. So a man adopted a woman's kids, she drained his pockets, and then divorced him like the simp he was. I don't really feel too bad for him, you know, but we're going to see more about this today. This video is brought to us by Pink Book Lessons. Uh, yeah, so let's just jump into it. Kim and Croy, uh, Kim Zolciak and Croy are getting divorced. And I've heard all the rumors about the foreclosure, and I thought to myself, marriage is hard enough bringing other people into your life and highlighting it for years on TV. I did it for a short time and I paid the price. And now Kim and Croy, they are the latest to pay for it. We have seen dozens of marriages showcased on The Real Housewives and across all of their franchises, we've seen dozens of divorces. Recent reports reveal that everyone around former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim Zolciak Berman and her soon-to-be ex-husband, former Atlanta Falcons player Corey Berman. So this guy is a former former NFL football player. Former NFL football player. And it appears that this guy went and got some single mom, adopted her kids, she burned all. She spent all all of his money, and now she's take. And now she's divorcing him. Take whatever little he has left, and the kids. And, and, of, and of course, she's going to start. She's she'll fall for child support, and have him pay child support for kids that aren't even his. My gosh, talk about a simp. Next, their divorce to get really bad. The couple shocked fans when it was reported that Kim filed for divorce after eleven years of marriage. Eleven. See, what these women also do is they wait. They wait for that 10th year. Or they'll even go to the 11th year. Because after that after that amount of time has passed, then they can, then the prenup, a lot of times the prenup won't even won't be enforced, at least not in the same, it would have been enforced prior to that. Because a lot of these people, the prenup is only good for 10 years. A lot of these relationships, the, pre, the prenup is only good for 10 years. All right. So she made sure to go for she made sure to go go that extra go the extra mile go the extra year she, she planned this this is all this is all premeditated i told you i told y'all from the very beginning women are planning their divorce before they plan their wedding they're planning the exit before they plan the entrance all right i'm telling y'all kim 44 years old Corey 37 years old that makes kim seven years older than Corey. Their relationship is now making headlines. What kind of simp marries a woman who is seven years older than you, has kids, and and, and literal no real value? Like, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. But that's the modern day simp. After months of Kim denying their financial troubles on IG and going off on everybody. You guys, can you believe it? I'm still in my house, you lying sacks of shit. Like, it's hilarious. Not a true story. Not a true story, friends. Not at all. Don't you guys think I'd sell my Rolls Royce or my G Wagon? People just find amusement in being stupid. No, Kim, I think you're the stupid one who can't figure out how to balance your books and stop spending money you don't have on plastic surgery, wigs, cars, and clothes. But yeah, she's been living on credit. That's really what's up. She's been living on credit and she's trying to act like she's still somebody, but she isn't. Yeah, that was Kim talking crazy on IG just seven months ago. She went live to tell everyone that their home did not get auctioned off in November 2022. Her family was still in it. The whole story wasn't a complete lie, though, by the way. It was revealed later that the couple's Alpharetta, Georgia home was scheduled to get auctioned off on the steps of the Fulton County Courthouse in March 2023. But they stopped the foreclosure by working things out. Now more news is coming out about the couple surrounding the debt, how Kim is running away from the marriage after causing all this debt. Everything was all good once upon a time when Corey took her and her two daughters in, adopted her daughters. They ended up having... My gosh. Guys, do you see what happened? So this simp took her in, adopted her two daughters, and then went and got this woman pregnant. So now he's going to be paying decades of child support 
for children that aren't even his. This is some real sim shit right here. And I bet y'all this is the same type of dude that was in the church. All right? I bet y'all this is the same type of dude that was in church. Like, good old, good old country boy, right? Just a good old country boy trying to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Dude, you fucked up your entire life. You fucked up your entire life. All right? Because there's no one in their right mind that will tell you to go marry some single fucking mother. And then on top of that, she burned out all your fucking money. You burned out all your you burnt out all of your NFL money over what? Some single mom and her fucking kids? Nah, 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 nah. And hey guys, if you're enjoying these videos, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Also, Please go ahead and like the video if you already haven't liked it. Because what this does is it tells YouTube that you want to see more videos from Angry Guy. And so YouTube will say, okay, well, you want more? We're going to send you more. And you'll get more in your home feed. You'll get more suggested videos from me. It'll be awesome. And if you're enjoying the content I'm making, guys, hey, drop me a Red Bull. You can drop me a Red Bull by via Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. All links in the description of the video. You can also do what we call a super thanks. We can do a super thanks on YouTube, and you can drop some cash that way. All right? But, again, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. Guys, stay out of the church. Stay away from these Stay away from these, these organizations that are only designed to keep men in a, a, on the plantation and in, in, and in mental slavery. Because no one in their right minds would go and marry a fucking single mother that had a bunch of grown-ass kids, a woman that was already seven years older than you. And look at this guy out here looking like a fucking simp, thinking he looks sharp. You look like a fucking joke, bro. Having an additional four kids together. Fast forward to 2000. An additional four kids? No, bro. No, bro. Guys, I want y'all to look look at this picture very carefully. Do you see those girls in the picture? Those are the daughters, all right? Those are her daughters. Those girls are now, they look how old they are. They, they don't even look like teenagers anymore. Those are like 20-somethings. Those are some grown-ass women right there. Those are some grown-ass women. So he had four young kids of his own with her, four kids of his own, and her two grown-ass daughters. And he adopted those two girls, all right? And he adopted them. No, bro. No. No, bro. No. He has decades of child support left. Decades of child support left. Like, you have to be out of your damn mind. 2023, Kim filed for divorce. She's asking for primary custody, but Corey also filed papers as well. He said he did not want his kids staying with Kim, and he's telling the judge to kick Kim out of the mansion. A lot to cover here, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. And he, 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 you know, he pretty much doesn't have a prayer. I mean, if it happens, he, he's one of the very few to win. But in over eighty percent of cases, the mother gets the kid. All right, even though the father is the person who has is is the main breadwinner, the mother gets the kids. And that's and that's and the only reason why that happens is because of course bias. It's because of bias. Because statistically, we know that children that are raised by single mothers are more likely to enter the criminal justice system versus children who are raised by fathers who are far less likely to ever be incarcerated over the course of their lives. All right, and yet, yet society keeps on taking children and putting them in the hands of mothers and then stripping their fathers, stripping the, these men off their wealth, off their value, and 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 and, and destroying their lives. Which makes literally no sense whatsoever, but that's the world we live in, all right? That's the world we live in, and it's not going to stop until we actually stand up and say, you know what, no more, we're not putting up with this shit anymore, we're not doing it anymore, but, and the only way that you do that is by walking away and not getting married, not having children in the West, not, and, and instead, you know, going overseas and finding yourself a Filipina or another, another brand of Asian or whatever, Eastern European white woman, or if you want a black woman, you have to go all the way back to Africa. Like, go take your ass all the way back to Africa and go find some chicken Kenya or something. But you stay the fuck away from American women, Western women, I, n none of that shit. Because it's, it's just a load of bullshit that's going on right now. Ton of bullshit. No flamingos today, but we do have a peacock here, or should I say a pelican? I don't know. Kim is a mix between the both, so it's interchangeable. 
Over 11 years ago, November 2011, NFL player Corey Berman married this pelican here who was known for peacocking for married men. It wasn't a secret. Kim told her business for several years on The Real Housewives of Atlanta as the loud and proud side chick of a man she called Big Papa. Corey was playing for the Atlanta Falcons at the time when the two met at an event that Kim attended with her Atlanta Housewives co-star Sheree Whitfield. They exchanged numbers and being much younger than this woman, he totally ignored all the red flags and literally tried to turn this 304 into a housewife. Oh my gosh. Thank you for calling her. Guys, she was a side chick of another man and he tried to turn her into... Guys, this is a simp. This is a simp. This is a simp. All right? He's getting everything that he deserves. He's a simp. He's a simp. I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I'm done with this video. All right? I'll put a link to the full video in the description of the video if you want to watch it. He's a simp. All right? He tried to turn a 304 into a housewife, and he got what he deserved. Let me know if you guys agree that he that this simp got what he deserved. He tried to turn a 304 into a housewife. Let me know what you think in the comments. This man adopted a woman, her kids, she drained his pockets, and then divorced him. And you know what? Good. You know what? He serves him right. This guy's a simp. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. Just remember, they're all rolls into MWA. Man walking away. And cheers. He's a simp. He's a fucking simp.